GarageBand has multiple ways to create a drum track. And if you're not too keen on tapping in your performances, there's a slightly more user-friendly way of creating drum beats. And that is called the Smart Drummer. So first of all, I'm going to mute this track because I want to keep what I did with the tap drums. To mute a track, I simply select the track and then hit the cog on the top right hand corner. Under track controls, I'm going to select this mute button right here. That's going to just make sure that I don't hear anything on that track at all. We have some other track controls here like the solo button, the panning from left to right, and the track volume which we can alter. But for now, I'm just going to mute that track. So let's create a new track by hitting the plus on the bottom left hand side. And instead of selecting the acoustic drums like we did last time, we're now going to select this smart drums icon right here. Now the smart drums is uh, more of an automatic uh, drum generator. And um, there's a, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use, and it's very powerful. I love this because you can randomize and uh, basically um, create beats from scratch really, really quickly. So to get started, um, we want to make sure that we have the right sounds. So I'm going to select this downward facing arrow here. And by default, it's given me the hip hop drum machine. There are a few options. You can use live, there are three live kits and three electronic kits. I'm going to stay on hip hop drum machine because that's kind of the track I'm making. And you simply drag one of these six icons from the right over and place it on the grid. And that's going to automatically start playing a loop for me uh, for that kick. Now I can make it simple to the left complex to the right, louder to the top, and quieter at the bottom. So I'm going to pop this kick drum. I'm going to get, make a real simple and nice and punchy. Uh, maybe bring that back just a little bit. Now I can add a hi-hat in. I want to make this more complex, but a bit quieter. So I'll drop it there. Let's add a snare in. So you can experiment with dragging this around and popping it on different areas, different um, nodes within that grid. I'm going to add a shaker. I want that shaker to be louder. Let's add some symbols in. Let's make them quiet and simple. And let's add a loud complex clap. That clap's a bit, uh, I don't really like the sound of that clap. So I'm going to leave that out. We can uh, turn the loop on and off using this button here. Um, if we hit that reset button right there, it's going to uh, basically start from scratch again. But I can then now record this uh, beat onto this track that I've created by hitting the record button right here. So that's now recording and I can change these elements dynamically and it's going to remember that in the recording. So it's going to record this and make these changes. Okay, so if I want to look at what I just recorded there, I can hit, I can go back to the track view by selecting this icon here. And you'll see there now that that has uh, recorded all those changes that I made. And I do have an eight bar drum loop now. Um, and I can edit this region if I want. If I liked the first half only, I can do that. Uh, I can also loop this section. Um, I can do whatever I want. If I don't like that, I can double click on it and select delete. And then I can get back to the view I was just on by hitting this icon here. Let's go back because there's another cool feature with this. It's this little dice button. It will create a random beat for you. And this can be really good if you're just looking, if you're a bit stuck with your creativity and you're in a bit of a rut and you, you just want a quick beat of a quick feel. So you can just keep hitting that 
and it's going to randomly place in, um, the different drums and create beats from scratch. Let's keep going here. Beautiful. I like that one. Let's record four bars of that. Okay. And we can turn that metronome off if we want. We don't really need it for this uh, example. So let's go back to the track view and have a look at what we've got. We have... So that's actually given me one too many bars. I only wanted four bars. So I'm going to grab the edge of this and bring it back in. And I'm going to loop that. There you go. So that's the drum beat. And now I feel like I want to add a little bit of reverb to this. So I'm going to go up to the cog on the top right hand corner. Select the track controls. And scroll down a little bit. I'm going to compress this a bit. Make it more punchy. I'm going to add a bit of reverb. I like to be fairly um, minimal when I'm using reverb. The best way to use reverb is to just put a little bit on so you can just hear the effect a little bit, but it's not too oversaturated. It will cause problems in your mix down the line if you start saturating everything with reverb. So that's a quick look at the fantastic tool which is the smart drummer.